Hello and welcome to HealthLink, a program connecting home, community, and healthcare. My name is Carol Merton, and today I'm delighted to welcome as a guest Jenny Lee Learn, who is going to be talking to us about the positive health benefits for creative writing. And Jenny is also Jenny Lee is going to be also talking about her experiences as an author and also some other creative things that she's involved in. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me, Carol. My pleasure. My pleasure. So I have lots of things to ask you about, but first I wanted to mention that you do have some other things that you're involved in that you had sent me and you can elaborate on those, but I understand that you are an artist who I has artwork at the gallery in Southampton. I do, yeah. yeah. That you also own a custom framing business. Yes. The, and in the area? I'm, uh, I have a custom framing business at Gould Lake. Okay. It's, um, it's out of my home. Yeah. Yeah. And so I do, I do custom framing for myself as well as other artists and photographers and yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. people in general. Yeah. You um, have written children's books and illustrated them. I have. I've illustrated two of the three of the books that I've written. Yeah. The, um, one of the books is illustrated by Becky Comber. Okay. Um, yeah, she's yeah. An, an amazing illustrator. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's And you also on that. teach a fitness class in I do, Tara. I do. I teach fitness classes in, in Tara. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> a whole bunch of different things all put together in one person. Yeah. So you've sent me some questions and, and I'd certainly like to learn more about your books and also your experiences as an author and what started you in this whole adventure in the first place. Sure. So now you have a name for your children's books and you have a website. Can you tell us a little bit about the name and the website? Sh sure, sure. So um, my, my books are, are Learn with Learn um, is what I call them because they're written with one side for experienced readers to read and then one side for, for beginner readers. So one side of the story is a little bit more challenging as far as co content yes. to read and the other side is a simpler text. It's a little bit larger font, easier, easier words and more repetitive for children or people who are learning to read. So it's a play on your last name. It, learn. Is, it is, yeah. So it's learn with learn. Yeah, yeah. How did you come up with the idea of the different Well, the, the, reason, the reason I started writing these books is because my, my oldest daughter, um, when she was learning to read, was really, really struggling. Mm -hmm. um, there was something missing there. She wasn't connecting the dots as far as um, being able to pick up the way that words flowed in a story. And, yeah. Um, uh, I always um, told her stories at bedtime, and yeah. she always used to say, "Talk them from your mouth, mummy, and and tell me the st tell me stories when okay. when I'd ask her to pick a book." Um, but when it was time for her to start reading, she was past the simpler context of books, like one-liner readers. If it said, um, um, "This is a blue sock." Yeah. This is a green sock. She still wasn't able to read those one lines, ah. but she was way beyond that in her mental space. She's mm -hmm. very scientific and interested in math and and to be interested in reading one line saying this is a blue sock was she, she'd almost roll her eyes at that. I mean she was her, her peers were reading way beyond where she was reading mm -hmm. and I was really worried about her confidence. Yes. Um, she wanted to be reading at that time Robert Munch stories but yes. she was still stumbling over small words like it and 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 but and so I as a mother worried about her confidence yes. and thought what if she never learns to read yeah. and so I went out looking for books for her that I could read one part and she could read the other the story would be more interesting and I couldn't find them um, wow. I did find a couple of variations but her text wasn't easier to read mm. so she was still struggling and that wasn't helping our, our nighttime reading struggle no. um, I could feel her getting frustrated my patience wasn't yeah. you know it, wa yeah. it wasn't as it's a tough job it being a mother. A <laughs> it is a tough job. Yeah. It, it, it was a struggle. So I thought, well, I'll write some stories for her. So I wrote some stories that I knew she would find interesting. Um, and then she had her part of the story to read. So I'd read her the interesting part. She would read her part. She was still reading the book. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and that's how I came up with these 
with this concept. So I, I'm going to hold up one of your books because sure. you've described it and yeah. I'm not sure which camera to hold it to but I'm sure they'll tell me. Sure. So because I do want the viewing audience to actually see what you're talking about sure. if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to hold up and do you want to just yeah. describe okay. again? Sure. So, so, yep. so this section of the story is um, the section for the experienced reader to read yeah. and then on the other page yeah. oh no the green truck got stuck is the simpler text so if yeah. you f if you flip over one more page if sure. you don't mind no, no um no. you'll see you get how me reading this yeah, story no, <laughs> you'll see how this this story continues and then the the child's portion oh no the silver truck got stuck is the repetitive text simpler text there are some variations in the word this book in particular the the children can learn their colors as well because each yeah. truck gets a different, it's a different color. color. Yeah. Okay. So um, all of my books are written that way. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. You know what I really like about that idea is it's a together thing. Mm -hmm. That you're together and you're sharing together, but the adult is reading one, and eventually the hope would be that the child will Ex read both. Exactly. And now m my oldest daughter is reading. She's into novels and all sorts of things, but she's reading to my younger daughter, and she's doing the adult section of the book and my younger daughter's reading the simpler text. Yeah. So I mean it's something that can pro progress and it doesn't have to be a, a parent, it can be an older sibling or, sure. or a reading buddy at school or a grandmother yeah. or a teacher. Yeah. Um, yeah, or yeah, any child that's, that's um, reading. So yeah. which, which book did you write first? Truck Got Stuck was my first book. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I self-published Truck Got Stuck in 2014. Yeah. Um, yeah. Self-publishing means that you wrote the story you, you did the illustrations, you funded the publication, That's all right. yourself. That's right. That's you have right. a background though in graphic? I have a background in graphic design. Yeah, um, yeah so I was able to do that. Um, overwhelming still taking on all of this. Yeah. Um, I thought okay I've got an idea that's great I'm gonna do this it'll be done. Yeah. But to take a story idea, illustrate it, then I thought, okay, now I'm done. But yeah. no, then you've got to put it in the layout, yeah. which uh, the graphic design obviously came in yeah. very handy at that yeah. point. Um, putting it into the layout, then I thought, okay, it's printed, it arrived at my house, that feeling of opening the yeah. first box of books yeah. was amazing. Yeah. I pulled out my book, okay, now I'm done. Marketing. Marketing. Marketing is huge, yeah. huge. I would say the beginning process is about 25% of the entire process, because now you've got, to, you've got this book, well, you've got boxes of this book but what do you do, what do, you do and we're right? going to come back to that okay. so that when Good. you're here Good. on the show if people are interested in obtaining your books we can Great. tell them how to do that thanks so much join us again shortly on Healthlink to learn more about learn with learn and with Jenny Lee learn Thank you for joining us here in HealthLink. Today I have as a guest Jenny Lee Learn, who's here to talk about the positive health benefits of creative writing and also to talk about her creative writing process in publishing three books. Thank you so much for being here, Jenny Lee. Thank you, Thank you. So we've talked in the first part of the segment about truck got stuck, yes. but can you mention the other two? Because I don't want them to feel left out. Sure. So what about <laughs> the other books that you have? Sure. So My Mommy Likes is, is a book written from a child's point of view of what the child thinks mommy's favorite food might be. Yeah. So I so need to hold this. Sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All so right. written in the same format with one side being more challenging for an experience reader to read yeah. and then the right page is being simpler text for the child to read. Yeah. So this is my mommy likes so I'd like to open yeah. it up. My yeah sure absolutely. And just just to get an idea. Yeah. yeah. Again. So, so it's got a little bit of a comedy aspect to it. It was illustrated it's illustrated by Becky Comber. Okay. Um, an amazing illustrator. She um, it's it's amazing to give somebody else sort of that side of, of your creative writing and let yeah. them interpret the lot book. A lot of trust there. A lot, lot of trust <laughs> there. I, Becky's an easy person to trust, so that yeah. wasn't too hard. Yeah. But a lot of trust there, and the result was amazing. Somebody doing the illustrations for your idea is it's a, an incredible experience. So I'm going to pull out the other yeah, one, too, while sure, we're at it. Sure. Because we've got the cameraman right here doing yeah, the close-ups. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just set this one back. Success. All right. 
Tell me about this book. Okay, Just a Smile is a book um, written about a child who starts out the day with a smile. Um, it bumps throughout the day and comes back at the end of the day through, the, Grandma's grumpy at the beginning, <laughs> comes back at the end of the day through Grandma. So the whole message is that maybe a smile isn't just a smile after all. Ah, so, so I'm, I'd like to open this one yeah, as well just to get Sure, so same idea, one page is written for the experienced reader, more yeah. complicated text, the more intricate part of the story, and then the repetitive side on the right for the child, but yeah. it was just a smile. Yeah. And it bumps from person to person throughout the day, and at the end, maybe a smile it isn't just a smile after all. Do you know, as I watch you telling me about the books, there is such a sparkle in your uh, eyes because I can tell that you're still as enthused about telling about your book as you must have been about writing. How did it feel to go through this process? It really, really amazing. Um, there's something, um, having, having your ideas come out and be able to be in a a format that can be shared with children is is an incredible experience. Yeah. Um, there's something about going into a classroom and opening one of the stories that I've illustrated and written and opening it up and start reading and being able to hear a pin drop. It's just, it gives me goosebumps. There's nothing that brings me more joy. Um, it's, it's really something that started as a hobby and something that started to help my daughter and has turned into a passion. I can't, I can't even describe. So you would never have anticipated this. I didn't go out thinking I'm going to be a children's book author. Yeah. Um, I, I, that wasn't my goal. Yeah. It, my goal has warped and changed and it's definitely something that I'm, I'm, every time I do another book and I'm able to fund the next one, it's something that I want to keep putting more and more of my time and energy into. Um, I've set myself some pretty high goals with my books and I want to keep going. It's really, really, it's my passion. So yeah. it is a process. It's not like when the book is done, that's it. No, when the book's done, I'm ready. I'm going, what am, when's the next one, gonna, what's the next one going to be? So before we talk about where your ideas come from, mm -hmm. I'd like for you to tell the viewing audience, if people have an interest in obtaining these books, how, how do they go about getting them? I mean, are they, so, where are they for sale? Sure. So I do have them in um, some independently stores, independently owned stores locally. So own Sound, Port Elgin, Wyerton, in, um, in, in the Rocking Horse Toy Store, for example, and, yeah. the, and the Ginger Press Bookstore, okay. and, then, and then Sweet Pea Baby Store would be some own Sound ones. I do have them in Gray and Bruce counties, but also online. You can order on online. I ship directly, so if anybody wanted me to write a little message to somebody, I do ship directly, and it's um, learnwithlearn.com okay. is the So website. if they just go online, learnwithlearn.com, yep. they can yep. order, they can order direct. directly. Yep. Okay. Definitely. So uh, where do your ideas come from? I mean, because each one of these are a little bit different. Yeah, and actually they're all... I won't say true stories, but they're all... They have some truth to them. Okay. So they would be sort of like a maybe a, a little bit of the truth warped so that it has a little bit more fun and humor in it so yeah, for, yeah. for kids and, and adults to enjoy. I really hope that adults are enjoying reading to the kids because I want the mm -hmm. adults to enjoy the books as much as the kids. So that it's an experience that, that's a positive one mm -hmm. and it, it, adults are really going to be fostering reading mm -hmm. experience for children. So yeah. if they can both be enjoying the experience, yeah. it's really important to me. What does your daughter say about these books? I mean, you, you did it to help your daughter, but what's well, she saying now? Both of my daughters are, are proud of me. They, ah, they yeah. yeah, I can see that they're proud of me, and that, that is a really, that's a really nice that's feeling. That's a nice spin-off as well that you probably it, wouldn't have anticipated. No, and, uh, no exactly, and yeah. The, yeah, yeah. And my youngest daughter says, I'll, I read her my ideas, and I do read ideas to, to other children as well in classrooms, and, play, and because they're, wonderful to give honest feedback but uh, when I read her my ideas she'll say hmm, I'm not sure mom or put that one real she says if it's a good one she says put that one real so I mean they're they're yeah they're as excited about the process as I am so if you have an idea about a storybook mm -hmm. and it comes to you that's what you mean by an idea is that what you're meaning by uh, ideas well when I when I think of an idea generally I will just uh, 
wing it sort of and, okay. and say, okay. yeah, no, speak yeah. speak the story. Okay. Yeah. yeah. When, when, before it's written down, and then later on, I'll, I'll I, obviously there are there are many many, many drafts yeah. and many stages. Yeah. So an idea might it might turn into something completely different by the time the story actually comes to print. But right. but I always test out those ideas with, yeah. with children. Well, they would give honest feedback, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. Yeah. yeah. But that's good because yeah. especially if it's a book for children, yeah. you want that. Have you considered writing other than children's books, or do you feel that that's what gives you the most pleasure? I, I have considered that. Um, I think actually as my children grow, I'm so involved with their lives that as they grow, I, I tend to lean towards things that they're more interested right. in. Right. So my younger daughter's still interested in these books. My older daughter's, she's more interested in some different different mm -hmm. types of reading, yeah. and I. I, I tend to want to write things for her now, so yes. I, eventually I might get into writing for yeah. young adults. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Is there a support group for budding young authors or people who've been published here in, in our area in Grey Bruce? Uh, who do you connect with? Um, I connect with other people who are writing. Yeah. There are several writing groups in Grey and Bruce. Yep. Um, I don't know if there are any that are. Um, I'm, I'm not certain if there are any that are, aren't just started with a group of people who know each other. I'm sure there are. Yeah. I do meet together with some other creative people. Um, yeah. We get together and bounce ideas off each other, not only yeah. writing, but also um, craft in general. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. so you had mentioned that the writing of the book was, I think you said 20, the creating of the book was 20 some odd percent, but then you had this other whole other part that you yeah, had. Yeah, I, I think going into the first book was a learning curve that went, it wasn't even a curve, it was a straight line going up. <laughs> it was, I thought, okay, I've got an idea, I've got it all typed up, I've got it in the layout, um, my illustrations are done, I'm finished, I'm going to send it off to be printed, I've saved up the money to pay for the printing. It was nerve-wracking because I thought, if these books don't sell, I'm going to have boxes of books sitting <laughs> in my house, I don't yes. know what's going to happen with them. But luckily, they sold out with my first printing sold out within a month, which was oh, a excellent. huge confidence booster for yep. me. Um, yep. But it was the marketing that was so hard. Yep. It's so hard, and it's constant, and it's a lot of work, and it's getting out there and putting yourself out there. Um, I am. I, I would say that I'm more of an introvert and. Um, Five years ago, before I even started this process, if you had to come up to me as you did and asked me to be on your segment, I would have run the other way. Really? I would have run the other oh way. Oh my goodness. I, that is not something, it, totally out of my comfort zone. Yep. Um, I would say mostly there's been a lot of a lot of things go on in my life, but mostly the books have given me the confidence to be able to do something like this, to yep. come and talk to you about yep. them. Yep. Um, they've given me the confidence to to read in front of groups of people. It, um, yeah, they've given me the confidence to be able to do things like teach fitness classes to, to groups. And really? Yeah, and it's it's just something that sort of started to build and snowballed. And yep. Yeah. Yeah. So tremendous so. growth potential for you. Yeah. 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 Huge. Because the creative part that you've described in, in talking the story and then writing the story, yeah. doing the graphics, or yeah. having someone do the graphics or the illustrations is so different than the business part of yeah. the marketing. Yeah, definitely. And, and to be able to marry the two together to be successful, I'm sure, is an ongoing challenge. It is. What it would you say to people who were thinking they might like to write a book, or how would you encourage people if they even want to try this? I think, I think my biggest, the biggest mistake I made at the beginning was thinking I could do it all myself. Ah. Uh, um, because you have the talent. Well, well, but the problem is you, not everybody is good at every range of everything. Gotcha. Somebody is going to be way better at bookkeeping than I am, for example, um, or way better at keeping track of of um, sales, way better, way better at maybe promoting. Um, it's really, really difficult to do self-promotion. Something that I really struggled with at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Um, luckily, I had a lot of people in my corner to help yeah. give me some boosts of confidence yeah. and uh, yeah. 
be able to get myself out there. Yeah. But really, eventually, I had to decide what what am I doing best and what do I need to let go and and have other people take on. Yeah. 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 So know your strengths, but be willing to challenge yourself. Exactly. As well. Exactly. Yeah. 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 If people say, well, I have this idea, but I'm not sure what to do, what would you say to them based on your experience? I would suggest if they find their audience, okay. go to their audience, oh, yeah. um, wait till that idea, they've got enough confidence, mm -hmm. because if negative feedback isn't necessarily negative, it can be constructive, um, but if you haven't got the confidence behind you, that can knock you right down. Yeah. Um, but if you've if you've got an idea and you're confident about it, and go to your go to your audience, whether it's if it's children. I, I took my books to my audience before I even printed. Did and you go to school? I did. I did. Oh my! Yeah. You were brave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a little mocked up copy of um, Truck Got Stuck, and and I sent I sent it off to a couple of different schools, um, and uh, and then I did take it to schools as well and read it. And there were some really really helpful things from the children, like. Like I say, your very best critics, the kids, they're yeah. honest. Yeah. Um, but even things like I had a, I had a font that was, um, um, it had the A, like a typewriter A, and the kids weren't recognizing it. So just changing that, those little things, those wow. little tweaks. And then other ideas, um, there's a nanny in the Truck Got Stuck book, and she comes to the rescue, but the kids think, said, there's something, that, my nanny always brings stuff when she comes, and I thought, well, my mom is a nanny, and 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 th the girls have a grandma as well, and of course they are always bringing things. So this nanny ended up bringing cookies as well as she was coming along, and just little ideas like that 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 kids it helped infuse into the story, and just which as an yeah. adult, as an adult, you don't always think of those no, things. No, not yeah. at all. Yeah, absolutely. So if people could turning that back to your question, if people could go to their audience, get some honest feedback, yeah. and um, yeah. 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 So your your books right now that you you have written they have a specific age grouping do they? I would say yes. Any now it does range a little bit because it's any child who's learning or any person who's learning to read. Right. So it it does it does range a little bit when I say that because siblings can help their younger siblings with it. So yeah. it can be for because older your children. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For sure. um, and then children are learning to read at all different ages. I've had it surprises me how young children are picking up the the um, repetitive part of these books. And I mean, even if they're not reading, and, but they're being encouraged to repeat, it's just building confidence. And yeah, yeah. which is yeah. important exactly. for sure. Exactly. So. Certainly, we have more and more people moving into Grey Bruce, um, people from other countries who mm -hmm. are, are joining us here in Canada. What would you say about your books and the appeal that they might have for people? Um, I would think that probably the simpler text might be easier for somebody who's learning a new language. Yes. As well as Truck Got Stuck does have some photography mixed with the drawing of this area showing um, snowbanks in a certain time of the year where if somebody's coming to visit it might be something that appeals to them. Uh -huh. um, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that would be good. Yeah. 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 So what stories are you working on now? Well I've got, I've got a, a few on the go. Yeah. Um, I've got several stories completed without illustrations yet, um, and then uh, various various ideas at different stages. Yeah. Um, I, I have a story about uh, a porcupine who is hard to hug, um, and uh, a story about a, a chicken that's having troubles fitting in called Chicken yeah. Different, and then uh, a story about Canada and the crazy weather in the country that we live in. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then I've got ideas for all kinds of stories at different where do these ideas come from well they are they're they're inspired by by people in my life or yeah. things in my life yeah, yeah definitely yeah. real life things yeah. but yeah but it almost sounds as if you you capture the concept from various things in life yeah so which which certainly yeah would be i try to i try to always infuse them with a little bit of I would say maybe a little creative humor to hopefully keep people interested. Very good, very yeah. good. So we have about a minute and a half left in the program. Okay. What would you like to share around your experience with writing, any I, feedback you're getting? Sure, I would, I would just like to share that um, 
if anybody has ideas for creative writing and they, they think that they, they would like to try it out, please, please do. Um, yeah. it, my stories at the beginning, they, they, they weren't seller, they, weren't, they wouldn't have sold right away, but it was the process. It was really rewarding. Yeah. Um, and really the process and the feedback that I've gotten from people has, is, it's really boosted my confidence and really enhanced my life. And I yeah. think if everybody's got a creative side to them, it's just tapping into that. Yeah. Uh, it's really it's something that people should try to do. Yeah. From what you're describing, your books give but they give to the people who read them, but they've given to you as an author as well. That's right, yeah, yeah that's right. I wanna thank you so much for being on the program today and for sharing all of this information. I think they're delightful, so I wish you every success. Thank you so much, Carol, it's my pleasure. My thank pleasure. You. Thank you for joining us here on HealthLink. Please join us again to learn more about programs, services, and resources available to you and to your family. Take care.